have the full Salt Lake crew in Milan. Sean, Finn, Woo. Chloe's here, and Bobby's. This is our second to last session before we go to the Lead World Cup in Briançon, France. And we're just doing a couple days of training here in Milan. Also got this super fun little toy to play around with. You can like change it to like pounds or kilograms or whatever you want. And it's just like a hand dynamometer. Um, it's called the Hand Dexter. All right, 138. Check it out in the description if you uh, are interested in seeing how strong your grip strength is. Let's see it, Finn. We have no baseline. You're like, what is a good pull or not, so. Let's see. Let's see. Oh my god. What do we get? 123.6. 125. <laughs> We're just warming up here. Alright, take two, take two. Take two. Come on, Finn. We've now figured it out. Okay, 126. 126. Nice. It's kinda weird trying to like figure out how to channel all of your energy yeah. into just like right here. Your butt. Nice. All right, I'm retesting my, my right arm. <sighs> oh, 150. Oh, 150 boys. Right arm is squeezing hard right now. Once you're over 100 pounds, you're officially warm. No, you gotta fight. I'm kidding. It's really all in the abs. You have a. <laughs> All right, time for the endurance side of things. Finally, I feel like I have a solid warm up. Like do my stretching, little hangboarding, and then like boulder, just kind of compy moves, get some flow in, and then like 12A circuit, like just barely start to feel pumped, and then do like a 13A B circuit where you like have to do some hard moves, but you're like not falling off the wall. Like 13A B with like a hard boulder kind of sequence in it, and then like a 20 to 30 minute rest and then hop on the hard hard one so that's what we're about to do now pro tip bring some binoculars to uh scope your climbs especially in a world cup helps so much to be able to see the holds and everything and Visualize what you're about to get on. Visualize. They have these crazy boxes. Lead auto belays. I hope it catches her. Marseille. And you're in Marseille. This is the one that I got right here. I moved on from espresso, I just do beans only. My microphone just fell off. Pro tip, screw your microphone up. I'm doing a long, long hanging sesh today and then getting into some boulders. I like popped my knee, like the hamstring tendon over like the bursa sac in Briançon. So I need to rehab that a bit. Pro tip, you gotta tick. Regardless of what you're doing, whether you need to find the grip or remember what set you're on. When you're doing like 100 or 200 repetitions, you're really, really important to pick your board.
we've been doing the last two weeks is training for this. We should do like a, a giveaway for whoever can get the highest with one of these. If you don't have one of these, go buy one of these. But if you do have one, send me a DM with your, your highest squeeze. If it's more than 170, I'll buy you an espresso. Two. Two. Two espressos for more than one, 175. Not cheap. 175. Yeah, you gotta have uncut, uncut, uncut footy. Squeeze. You gotta get angry. Oh no. Ah. Pretty even. No one will ever know my numbers. No one. Just for me. It's too high. It, the machine started to break and everything. It's it's only rated to 300 pounds. So end in the sesh with a little trigger point action just to offset holding the camera, basically. It's kind of fun at the end of the session when you're already just exhausted. You can just like collapse onto lacrosse ball or whatever you're using. And it's like, there's no pain, it's just tiredness.